Hello, today we'll be looking at the class features in Aurelia and Musician. Once you have all your classes and students enrolled, you can start to use classes to assign specific tasks and content. This is a very powerful feature that allows you to customise the experience that each student will have with the software. First, let's look at controlling the syllabus that is available for each class. Make sure you're on the People page. Now, simply select your class or multiple classes. You can choose multiple classes by holding down the Control or Command key to multi-select. Choose the syllabuses that you wish to assign to those classes. Choose a default syllabus, which is the one that will appear on the student practice screen first. So, when students from those classes enter the software, they will now only see the topics and levels contained in the syllabuses that you have assigned to them. Just to refresh your memory, a syllabus is a series of levels that are mapped to a specific curriculum. Aurelia and Musician come with many syllabuses which you can allocate to your classes. And, in most editions, you can actually create your own custom syllabus. There is one very important option here, Hide Class from Students. When this is chosen, students will not know if they are a member of the selected class and it will not appear on any screens that they can access. The main reason that you would hide a class is to allow for student differentiation. Now that students can be members of more than one class, this is an especially important feature. The topics and level settings are one of the best ways to control the content that students will practice. You can easily enable and disable topics and also set a minimum level that your students must attempt. It's actually very common for teachers to modify these settings throughout the academic year to suit the curriculum needs of the time. For my band class, I've just disabled advanced progressions, cluster chords and interval imitation. Again, this is done for each class, making it easy to use a software in large programs with students of varying ages and abilities. You can also control whether students can retry questions while practicing on this screen. Let's take a look at the professor. The professor allows you to control the way students progress through levels when they are practicing. By default, after 15 questions, the professor will appear and advise the students to go up a level if achieving 80%. If the student is getting less than 30%, they will be advised to go down a level. You can of course edit these settings to suit your own students, and remember that these settings apply to each class, giving you loads of flexibility with varying groups of students. By unchecking Allow Students to Ignore Professor's Advice, the student will be forced to move up or down through the levels as per the professor's advice. A very common class task is done on the tests page. Select the tests that you wish to assign to your class. In the list of classes, simply choose which are required to take the test or worksheet. It's very quick and easy. If you're wondering how to create or modify tests, please go to our website. There's a training video that covers that task in detail. Assigning courses is almost exactly the same as tests. Select your course, then choose your classes. Before we finish, I'll just quickly show you the impact of some of your settings. Firstly, on the practice page, you'll see how the syllabus list is restricted and also the available topics. On the home screen, our assigned tests are now shown, some of which have a due date. In the course list, you can see that the Intermediate Band Level 1 course is also available. 
That completes our video tutorial on class settings. Thanks for watching.